Amadil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from my subscriber Joseph. Let me first thank all subscribers for taking keen interest in posting brilliant questions. Now this one is uh, excellent. Well the question here is find the number of arrangements of the letter in the word Mississauga M-I-S-S-I-S-S-A-U-G-A -S -S where S's are separated. Now the student has tried many ways. We know total number of ways in which we can form words with all these letters and we can take away the words which are formed with all S's together. And what we get is actually a wrong answer. And that's why this question has come to me. How do we answer such a question? I'll build a concept and then get back to this question, right? So let's start with a very simple example and then we'll get there. So what I did was that for my class, I created this question first. For which most of the students know the answer. The question here is, find the number of arrangements of the letter in the word class where S's are separated, right? Now, now you know, we, we have this C-L-A-S-S, right? In which we have how many letters? Five letters. One, two, three, four, five. So, total number of ways, I said number of ways, take away. Total with S's together. So, we want separated S's, so we want separated S's, it means that is equal to total number of ways in which we can form the words using C-L-A-S-S -S, and then we can take away where S's are together, right? So where we have two S's together. So if we take away this set where they are together, we'll get to know which, how many numbers, how many ways can be formed where they are separated, correct? That's the basic concept. So total number of ways are, since we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it is 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial, since S's are repeated, right? So 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Minus total number with S's together. So if I take S's together, then what happens? Then basically, the word is uh, C L A S, right? We have taken them together, like they are together. Is it okay? So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So we get minus 4 factorial. And that's our answer. Is it okay? That is our answer. Now, this is general way by which we had been solving these questions. And since there are only two S's, we could use this method to find our answer. Now this strategy fails if we have, say, a word with three or four S's. Then when we say they are separated, we are looking into cases where two cannot be together, three cannot be together, and four cannot be together. Do you understand? So there are so many cases. That makes the question complicated. So here the approach is that now, let me call this a new approach. By no means this is a new method, <laughs> it is a well-known method, new, let's say well-known, small, well-known letter, okay. So the well-known method is that what we consider, we just consider CLA, let's say C, L, A, the three letters in which, in how many ways we can form words with these three letters taking away S's. That is the concept. In how many ways can you arrange these three letters CLA? Well, the answer is very simple. They can be arranged in three factorial ways, correct? 
yes now we want ss to be separate that means ss could take these positions do you see that ss these ss could take these positions they could be either of these positions now how many of these positions we have four positions one two three four and we have two s's so that means there's a combination of these s's which can be placed anywhere in these four positions we call that 4c2 right we call that 4c2 correct so now we can say that total number of words where s's are separated will be how many multiply these two since these four c2 ways are for each and every combination of these three is it okay so it is three factorial times four c2 do you get the concept right so that is what we get let's calculate and figure out the answer right now you can use calculator just calculate this out uh, 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial so I'll use simple calculations that is I go in very small steps uh, 5 factorial divided by 2 is 2 factorial which is 60 right so we have 60 minus 4 factorial so we have 4 factorial here and that gives us 24 and when we do 60 minus 24 what we get is 36 do you see that <clears throat> so the first well-known common method results into number of ways in which class CLASS letters can be arranged with or without SS together is 60 minus 24 correct so which gives us 36 the second method which we saw is we took arrangements for CLA just forget about these two s's we can form three factorial words three times two which is six and then we need to keep keep them separate right all s's separate so we have four positions in these four positions we have to fill with two s's so that means four c2 combinations and these combinations are valid for all three factorial ways in which cla can be arranged so their product gives you the total number where s's are separated and that is it so 3 factorial is 6 6 times 4 c2 means 4 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 4 minus 2 factorial right so which is 6 times this is 2 factorial 2 factorial is 4 so it is uh, 3 times 2 right 3 times 2 which is 36 do you see that we get exactly the same answer however we now understand a very effective method in which we could solve complicated questions like we are facing that is let's get back to it find the number of arrangements of the letters in the word mississauga where s's are separated right so what we do here is we say okay let's take away these s's one two three four s's what are we left with now we are left with m i i a u g a right <coughs> where something repeats yes two a's is that okay now how many combinations can we make with these one two three four five six seven seven of these right so total number of combinations which we can make with these sevens are seven factorial divided by since a's are repeated right um, and two i's also let me write like this and two i's so two factorial for the i's and uh, two factorial for repetition of a's so these are the total number of ways in which we can arrange the letters in Mississauga without S. We want to keep S's separate. That means where can we fill these S's? There are four. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. One more than 7. So, 8 places 4 S's. So, how many do we have here? The combination becomes 8 C4. Do you see that? So, 8 C4 are the combinations of placing four S's. Do you see that? Now, this is valid for all seven factorial divided by two factorial, two factorial. Is that okay? So, their product should give you the answer. Did you get the concept, right? And therefore, we find the number. So, our answer is 7 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial times these combinations 8C4 and that is the answer. Do you get the concept, right? So, what we found here is a method which can work very effectively with such situations. I cannot use the method where I find total number of ways for Mississauga and take away S's together since separated means that you cannot place even two S's together, you cannot place three S's together and so on. So there, I hope you appreciate how we can use this method and find it quickly. So that is the answer for us. So you can take your calculators and do the calculations now. <clears throat> okay. So we'll do it. 7 factorial, 7 factorial divided by, let's say, 4. That is 2 factorial, 2 factorial. So we get 1260, right, times 8C4. So we say 8C4 uh, equals to 70. And that gives you, let's do, 1260 times 70 equals to 88200 88, is that okay so that is how i mean okay so that is how you can solve this question and the answer is 88200 and i hope that helps now a question for you again which i have explained here you need to explain why why total number minus ways with all four s's all four s's is not the solution is not the solution right I'm kind of writing in a very rough way since I have explained you the concept, right? So, why this answer and this answer will not match? This is what you have to explain me. And if you understand that, you really understood this video. Feel free to write your comments, share your views and questions. Thanks a lot.